let's take a look at how you can use Home Assistant and the Rust API integration to monitor the controllers in your light show. In your configuration.yaml, what I've done is include my Rust file in its own separate YAML file. And then we can take a look at the Rust.yaml file and you'll see that there's one section for each controller that I have, pulling all the sensor and status data from the controller. To make this easy for everyone to implement, I've uploaded to GitHub a template that covers most CULP controller types and also a Raspberry Pi that I use as my master. And you can take any of these controllers that you have and you'll be able to copy the section related to your controller, put it into your Home Assistant configuration, and you only need to update the IP address. The main difference between most of these controllers is the amount of temperature and voltage sensors they have. So you have other controllers, you may need to adjust that as well. After you've added the controllers to your Home Assistant configuration and you reload, you can then set up a dashboard like so, which I use the entities card to list out the entities for each controller. And then I have them stored inside of a grid card to keep them evenly spaced. From here, I'm able to check on the Wi-Fi signal, the status of my controllers, any voltages, the temperatures in the controller boxes, and ensure everything is running as I expect. Also with these entities, you have the ability to set up any kind of automation to alert you if something is out of the expected range that you want. 